Oh, that's cool. What is this? Oh my goodness. That would like make the lows right before they close. Need this. And we'll get some simple green. And we'll grab a bottle of this mean green for 250. What's going on, you guys? I'm Jesse here. Uh, I saw a post by Brennan Eamsley over on the El Gumar's Facebook group talking about how he was trying out using Mr. Clean as a cleaning agent as part of a ultrasonic cleaner for your resin prints. I thought this was such a cool concept that I ran out to Lowe's and picked up some of the other products that folks had mentioned in the chat that they liked using besides your typical isopropanol alcohol, anything over 90% here. So I have Mr. Clean. This is the antibacterial summer citrus, which should smell very nice. It also looks like it's uh, Mutant Ooze from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. has a very nice neon green consistency. I also have green, or excuse me, mean green super strength cleaner and uh, degreaser. This was also mentioned as a really good alternative to isopropanol alcohol. Uh, one thing to note with any of these, make sure you check the tops. I picked this up from Lowe's, got it home, didn't realize someone had unscrewed the top within the store, and as soon as I put it on my counter, it spilled everywhere. Thankfully, I've got maybe a little less than half of a bottle left to work with for this little experiment. And then I also have some simple green here. Uh, and then I also will be obviously showing you guys the results of isopropanol alcohol. This is probably the most common thing that you're going to see people using when it comes to cleaning resin prints. I'm also going to be really focusing in on using an ultrasonic cleaner. This is the ultrasonic cleaner from Zortrak. Uh, this was something that they provided to me part of the upcoming review that I'm going to be having soon for the Zortrak Inkspire that I've been using for the better part of the last few months now. Uh, spoilers, it's an awesome machine. Uh, but you don't have to go out all out for an ultrasonic cleaner as crazy heavy duty as this one here. There's a number of different ultrasonic cleaner options that are available over on Amazon. I'll have a few linked down below that are probably in the $30 to $50 price range that should do just as good a job here with what we're talking about doing. And again, in this test, I'm gonna be focusing on using this ultrasonic cleaner. I am not gonna be testing this out using one of these fancy pickle jars that I also enjoy using. Again, I, this is probably my primary method of cleaning my resin prints is the ultrasonic cleaner. So I'm gonna stick with that because that's what I'll be using pretty much all the time. This is my sort of quick go-to when I don't wanna monkey around with this guy here or if I don't have enough uh, isopropanol alcohol to fill this tank up. All right, now let's take a quick look at the prints that I'm gonna be using for this experiment. So I've got everything all set up and ready to go for this experiment. I've got my simple green, my Mr. Clean, uh, Mean Green, and the IPA ready to go. You'll notice I have these sitting on some lunch trays. I'll have a link down below. I use those all the time now for lots of different resin projects here. Uh, but this will help me keep things a little bit organized and not so messy. Uh, I have three simple test files that I'll be using for this experiment with a variety of different details ranging from smooth surfaces to hollowed out uh, models to actual models that have lots of little details on it. That's why I went with these three different files. All right, so let's get things started. But first, I need to make sure that I have gloves. Anytime that you're working with resin, you want to make sure that you are wearing your gloves here. Safety first, folks. Uh, one other thing that you might want to invest in, this is something that I use uh, every now and then if the fumes are really strong from either the resin or typically when I'm working with the IPA, it's just really strong, is one of these RZ masks. This is just a, a filtration system so that you're not breathing in any of those crazy chemicals. For right now, I'm just ease of use for talking, I'm gonna leave that off. And I think we're just gonna go straight down the line here. So I'm gonna start with this simple green. I should also mention for this test, I'm gonna do all of the same time settings for the ultrasonic cleaner, which is three minutes. I'm gonna put all three files inside the chamber here and then let this run for three minutes with each of the chemicals and we'll see what the results are like. I'm also gonna be doing one-to-one -one ratios for all of these. I'm not gonna be diluting any of these. 
First thing I'm noticing is that the Simple Green does not have a strong odor to it at all. Just more or less smells like cleaning product. And I'm just gonna pour in a good amount of this in here. All right, one, two, and three. Let's go. All right, let's see how this goes. We'll be back in three minutes. A few minutes later. Okay, sprints are done. Let's get them out. Get my little tongs here. Now if I can find it. There's one, there's two, there is three. All right, next up is Mr. Clean. Very excited to check this one out just because it looks so cool. I love how this neon green looks. Really, really cool. It's got a very nice scent to it as well. So far, all of these smell much better than <laughs> the uh, IPA. All right, here's the first file, second file, third file. All right, let's fire it up. All right, let's get these out. There's one, two, obviously a lot easier to see into this than with the simple green. I'm really liking the scent of this as well. It smells really nice. And for anybody wondering, I'm just gonna pour this right back into the bottle. <laughs> I normally do not do this. However, for this experiment, since I'm not cleaning that many prints, I'm just gonna pour it right back in so I can reuse this later. All right, time to move on to Mean Green. This is the one that actually spilt in my kitchen. Hopefully I have enough for this. Also really no strong odor from this as well. Uh, so just barely enough. Hopefully this is enough for me to cover the prints here. One, two, three. Just barely enough. Let's fire it up. All right, let's get these out. All right, the last one, isopropanol alcohol. IPA. This is a 91% that I get from Walgreens. This definitely has the harshest odor out of all of the other cleaners that I'm testing. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse off all of the parts with some lukewarm water. This is just tap water that I put into one of these nice pickle jars. I can then sort of shake and clean off any of the excess cleaner or potential resin that was left on there here. Then I will bring these out and let them cure out in the sun. They'll all be unifiedly cured that way for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And then we'll bring them in and take a look at them. 20 minutes later. All right, so let's take a look at the results from our experiment. Starting first with Simply Green, I think all of the parts look like they were cleaned correctly and properly with this solution, which is really great to see. I mean, uh, I'm not really seeing any leftover residue of resin on any of the prints and everything turned out nice and clean. Also, Simply Green really did not have that strong of an odor at all to it compared to the IPA. I think it's gonna be the same case for all three of the cleaning products. This did have a bit of a, um, a like a minty, lemony smell to it. I guess it's a, I'm not sure how to describe it. Like a, it's a clean smell to it. Obviously it's a clean product. One other thing to note is that the price point is pretty good for this large size container of this product coming in at about $10. All right, let's take a look at the prints from the Mr. Clean test. Again, I think the prints turned out nice. I mean, they are nice and clean. I'm not really seeing any residual residue left on anything. I'm not really seeing any discoloration to the prints or anything like that. I was wondering if that would happen with this neon green liquid. Yeah, I think this is again, another valid option for you to work with. I'm not really noticing any distinguishable difference between this and the simple green as well. Also out of all of the cleaners, I believe this one smells the best. This is a lemon scented version. Also, it's the coolest looking with this neon green. If you're doing any sort of video recording or photography during your prints, this might be a really cool option for you to look into. Also, it's pretty nicely priced. I picked this up for $2.98. All right, now on to Mean Green. This is a brand that I've never heard of before. I've heard of these other two, but I've never heard of Mean Green. Was interested to see how this turned out. And actually, I think this might be the best out of the bunch. These prints turned out super clean, super clean. 
there's really no residual residue whatsoever on these and this is looking super, super impressive. I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. And again, no really strong scent from this either. I mean, it just really smells like cleaning product to me. Doesn't smell the best, doesn't smell the worst by any means. Also, this might be the best priced bottle option as well. I picked this up for $2.48. All right, now onto the isopropanol alcohol. All right, so surprisingly, I think this might be the worst out of all of the cleaning spots. I'm a little shocked. This is the one that I've been using for probably the better part of a year now with resin printing, and I'm a little shocked to see that there is still some resin residue left over on these prints. Everything was in the ultrasonic cleaner for three minutes, equally paced there, and I just feel like this didn't clean it as well as the other cleaners. That's a little bit of a shock to me. This is the go-to for pretty much everybody. And maybe it's, I should have left it in there longer. Maybe I need to leave it in there longer or it needed to rinse it off better. I, I'm not entirely sure. But again, I just, around some of the parts, you see the sheen there, the shine of some of the leftover residue from the, the resin. And it just doesn't look as clean to me as the others. I mean, it looks good, it's it's valid, it's, it's, it, it's a workable, usable solution, but now that I've done this, I'm not sure I'm gonna be going back and using isopropanol alcohol any further. I should also mention that all of these prints were using Elgu Mars Gray resin as well. So this was a really interesting and fun experiment for me to run with. I'm not the most scientific person out there. Don't be going for me to for all of the most critical Info, I'm just sort of playing around with things and seeing what works for me and it might work for you. Uh, I'm very happy that I saw this posted on the El Gumar's Facebook group. I'll link down below to that group if you have that printer and are interested in participating in that group. Lots of cool stuff being passed around there, knowledge being transferred. That's what's really cool about that. But if I had to pick one of these that I'm gonna move forward with, it's probably gonna be the Mean Green cleaning product. The print results were just absolutely fantastic. I mean, all of them worked great and were usable solution options, so don't let this hold you back if you can't find this where you are. But for the price, if I had $10 to spend and I could spend $10 on any of these products right here, I'm gonna get the most bang for my buck with the Mean Green. I should be able to get four bottles of Mean Green for 10 bucks and it comes out to more more liquid than I would get with any of the other options. By the way, the isopropanol alcohol is probably the worst priced out of all of these that I have been buying. I'm a little shocked. So I've been, I feel like I've been overpaying for the IPA for the better part of the last year. It's mind blowing to me. But hopefully you guys thought this was interesting. Again, if you're interested in any of these, I'll try to have some links down below to Amazon for that. I'll also have some links to some ultrasonic cleaners. Uh, basically anything that I've shown, I'll have a link to. Any purchases that you make through that help the channel here and I so appreciate that as well. So thank you guys. Hey, I just wanna say thanks again for watching and if you enjoy the video, make sure to like, leave me a comment down below. Let me know which of these you're planning on working with or if you have another cleaning solution that you use or another cleaning method, let me know because I'd love to check it out. I'm always interested in exploring new options when it comes to cleaning off my prints. Hey, thanks again for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye now. Boom, and that's how we do it.